Hi, hello, this is Charlie Jose and you're watching again another episode of Upstream Charlie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope that your crypto is doing fine. So we're gonna do some uh, crypto trading again. And uh, we are monitoring Singularity Net and also Fetch AI. So we could like see, you know, how things are going on the crypto AI side. I kind of want to focus on that because they have been very good and volatile and uh, lately they are uh, like just going up if not going up very fast they're going up uh, slowly okay so without further ado let's uh, check on uh, the charts FYI I'm using Binance I'm using Binance trading platform and uh, it's uh, paired with the BUSD okay and by the way by the way for those who don't know yet I'm uh, I have like Twitter crypto Twitter so please visit me at my Twitter page and uh, check out my uh, announcements and I have been like tweeting lately and giving updates on Ajax and other stuff like FET and even Aptos and today we're also gonna check on Aptos for you that's gonna be uh, uh, right after we do the singularity net and fetch AI so let's check on the temperature first <laughs> because it all boils down to uh, Papa Bitcoin so we're still at uh, 21,100. It's uh, recovered already from the low of uh, 20,500. This was the crypto fad care of DOJ on uh, January 1819. Kind of happened at the noon time uh, in the eastern eastern side, eastern time in uh, New York and other parts of the world. But it happened to me during midnight, just about midnight, and this is this this basically uh, fell down. But now we are in the recovery mode. Hopefully, it can go back. Bitcoin can go back at what level here? Prior to the dump at uh, twenty-one thousand two hundred sixty-eight or. 21,444 somewhere in that uh, vicinity and so if we zoom out when in doubt zoom out we are still going up we are in the four hour chart uh, previously we are in the one hour chart and on a daily basis we are still over bought <laughs> but there was a correction and then we are still at the high levels okay so ethereum we're in the one hour chart by the way i'm using right now uh, tradingview.com uh, if you're interested uh, feel free to uh, subscribe they have a free version and they also have a paid version the reason why i'm using this is because when I, whenever i use uh, uh, binance trading platform they're not saving my my technical analysis so it's best to use uh, trading view if you want to keep your notes and your uh, you know drawings etc your analysis basically so same thing with the uh, ethereum it dropped $1,500 and also drop again $1,510 mm -hmm. and then we're in the recovery mode uh, hopefully it's creeping up slowly it's like one uh, percent a day one percent a day or one percent in 24 hours and uh, hopefully we'll go back again to its uh, previous high somewhere here in the median around one one five seventy nine or here at this levels uh, we need to break that uh, that ceiling, that uh, resistance of 1.596 or 
1599 or somewhere there 1595 okay and then uh yeah or they need to break this first around the uh, what the bottom side this one uh, it's nearing it could break it probably in 24 hours the 1563 okay just uh, 10 points away nine points away I'm breaking that uh, bottom side and uh, this will take a while to break the the resistance okay so this is the first resistance the first bottom the first bottom here and the second resistance would be the 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 resistance level from the previous uh candlesticks prior to the doj doj crypto crypto fund okay so moving on let's go to my exciting part which is ajix as you all know i've been following ajix you could actually see it on my twitter and uh, i do a, a little deep dive on my videos here in in youtube so by the way if you're liking this don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell it's just down below please thank you very much that would be your tip for today right so please do so and leave a comment always leave a comment youtube likes people commenting so that uh, it could push my videos my videos to other people like them like us who likes uh, trading, who likes analysis, who likes, you know, getting the uh, updates from uh, from crypto. Okay, so f moving forward, as you can see, uh, I realized this when uh, I was trading sometime in January 16. I decided to uh, buy uh, Ajix because prior to this, I bought uh, uh, Matic and put it on... Uh, I staked it in uh, Binance uh, sometime in November 29 and then when I got some budget I bought in Ajix 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 but I bought Ajix somewhere here so I gained 100 110 105 percent but Ajix already grew uh, grew like 300 percent from its low of, of four cents now now ajix is uh, on the 20 cents level so congratulations who bought during december and the uh, first week of uh, first first week of uh, or or after on the last days of december like you know 20 from from christmas to the, the new year and on the new year okay so they gained a lot so i hope they sold their uh, coins but uh, I could see that Ajix is a good hold. You could huddle it, you know, buy it now and forget it and uh, just wait because it's just uh, going up, going up. If, 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 but before we go to uh, zoom out like one hour, four hour and daily daily uh, time frame charts, here was my experience. So on the 16th, again, somewhere here, 16, 15, 16, I discovered that uh, it was forming a symmetrical triangle and then I kind of chickened out <laughs> because symmetrical triangles can uh, only go two ways and big time it's gonna go pump hard up or it's gonna dip, uh, dive down like 20 to 30 percent but uh, I was wrong I should have uh, followed my instinct I should have followed my guts uh, everything the signs were p pointing that it was going up because I forgot to zoom out okay but you know there's no there's no guarantee in uh, crypto trading so it's all up to you and your guts and your you know knowledge and wisdom okay so me I'm still like a baby in trading but you know I'm maturing every day I'm maturing uh, every week so that's why I know how to read this uh, symmetrical triangle, ascending triangle, descending triangle, and uh, other stuff. Those uh, head and shoulders. I'm yet uh, still. Uh, this one's a uh, head and shoulders. Look at it. 
it's not an inverse head and shoulders this is also head and shoulders by the way, head and shoulders so nice right so I, I'm yet to study about the uh, head and shoulders what's the effect if you see it or the inverse head and shoulders so again it pump and I didn't manage to get that and then this is the symmetrical uh, and second uh, symmetrical triangle that I saw and unfortunately it was uh, hindered by the DOJ crypto fad on January 18 19 so that's why uh, all all uh, crypto went down okay but it uh, on this part you should have bought actually in this part you should have bought <laughs> yeah. buy low sell high but it was kind of scary here because it might go down further go down further uh, I'm gonna X the RSI so we could have a bigger chart there it might X down further so it's kind of hard to uh, to uh, bet on so you need it to pump a little to assure you that it's not going to go down drastically so if you're like af <coughs> if you're like afraid to uh, buy here then you could have bought here at uh, 18 cents wow and now it's like 22 cents already like four points up and now it's down again so that was my second uh, second uh, scenario it should have gone up here somewhere here it likes to uh, ajax likes to like go to the edge or just uh, outside of the 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 narrow part of the cement of the triangle here and then it pumps okay but it didn't happen here in fact uh this one this part uh i think people were already like having an inkling there's, ba there's bad news okay but it didn't pump because of the doj crypto fund i mean who's that uh, bad guy anyway nobody knows and even the the so-called uh, the site where they uh, trade crypto and uh, you know uh, money launder crypto etc so it's i don't know for me I, I put it in my twitter i said it's it was sketchy and it's one of the best ways best ways to short crypto <laughs> okay so there and then after that it formulated and uh, it's uh, gearing again towards uh, towards a new uh, symmetrical triangle but it kind of have a premature <laughs> pump here and uh, knowing this one this one may 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 try to pump again in this in this level let's see uh, hopefully it pumps again around uh, in this level in the previous high uh, how much is that uh, hopefully around 15 percent so expect around 10 to 15 percent uh, increase uh, jump yeah or 13 or 14 so it's if you're gonna do limit trading it's best to it's best to uh, yeah it's best to do a limit trading uh, so if you're busy just do limit trading so you could sell it at the high okay so what do i see from afar let's go to the one hour chart for ajix so this is the one hour charts per candle for those who do not know per candle is equal to one hour of trading so as you can see it touch almost touch here so it's planning to do an ascending triangle over time here okay so it might pump here or it will just slowly pump 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 here or it's gonna pump here and then formulate another small ascending triangle here okay so it we might go to 23 cents again or even in this last resistance which is uh what 23 cents 23.88 
0.2388 so you could uh if you can wait until like next week or until the weekend hopefully this people will not dump during the weekend because weekend really sucks sometimes they dump sometimes you know it basically it just it just uh, you know moves sideways okay so that's ajix for you uh try it if you're gonna do do some uh do some uh, trading try to wait for a low but if you're like have a uh, good basket you have a big basket i mean if you have a yeah if you have a big wallet <laughs> you, let's say what thousand dollars two thousand dollars wow a 13 percent jump five percent jump would be magnificent for you sometimes i hope i have ten thousand dollars you know with the knowledge that i am i know now uh, i'm not gonna lose money i'm gonna gain money more money actually so there you go that's ajix for you for the busy people just do limit trading if you don't know limit trading uh it's there on the sell side it's called limit and then put the price of uh, ajix to what percent you want to gain and basically that's it and then you will see it on the downside on the trading side that uh, that uh, you have uh, triggered a limit sell Moving forward, let's go to fetch. Okay, I haven't done fetch because uh, if I do the 15 minute uh, thingy, I'm not seeing much except uh, except this one. It's an ascending triangle. Okay, so it's an ascending triangle. So that's a good sign and you, most of the time not always that it goes it basically it goes up okay the trend goes up okay so that's ascending triangle for you but if you check on the hourly chart for uh, fetch fetch ai you could see that uh, let's see uh, how it goes so from here to there uh -huh. and then let's check the bottom side It's getting wider and wider but it's like a, it's like a, it has a theme from narrow to uh, to wide so what does it mean it could like jump here at how much maybe here uh, let's be just conservative Okay, I'm gonna lower this one. Okay, let's be conservative. And it might hit what? 34 cents? 34 cents in how many uh, time frame? Maybe in the next two days if things go well yeah okay something to ponder yeah? you just hold fetch and it will increase how many percentage increase let's check on the price it could go up to like 30 percent starting now okay at the current price of uh, fetch or fet at uh what at uh, 27 cents mm. so it could go up to to this level around 35 cents let's let's put a note it might go up to uh, 34 cents 35 5 35 34 5 3 okay let's put there hopefully hopefully but uh 
<clears throat> it seems like it's like going there. Yeah, do you agree or not agree? Plus, plus uh, leave your comments on that as well. Okay, so that's my two AI, AI crypto or crypto AI. And uh, things are still positive. Positive, positive. Let's check on the four hour chart. Yeah, look at the four hour chart of uh, Ajax. Ascending triangle, right? Uh, don't forget the DOJ they might fight again <laughs> man if you were like working for the DOJ and you know that they're gonna announce something negative about crypto that's that's an advantage for you to do shorts short trading okay so let's go back to the 15 minute chart I love the 15 minute chart it's kind of between a one hour <laughs> and a five minute one minute chart you know the action is there for me if I, I do 15 minute chart yeah there's a like you could see a, a better picture most uh, for me most of the time so that's fetch for you there's a probability of uh, uh, ascending ascending triangle here and it's already like pumping out they have it this needs to uh, meet this uh, line uh here to break the first the the second resistance okay because it already broke this resistance so around uh, 28 cents 28 cents and and the next one is uh yeah 20 28 point, point 0.2854 and point 0.2821 that's the one it needs to break so it could move on to the next one which is the high 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 <coughs> of uh, 29 78 cents hmm. okay so I, I i had fetch and then i sold fetch i should have kept fetch so fetch is a uh, something to hodl okay it that's not fast moving as big it it pumped here I know that because I saw the the chart it pumped here like 28 percent 25 percent very very fast uh, like this one see around 28 percent 25 and 28 I saw that and I was like oh fetch is still alive and uh, I have a feeling that uh, the crypto AI guys like me are uh, you know continue on uh, and uh, investing on uh, and FET and uh, and Ajax and the other crypto cryptos that are not uh, crypto crypto AIs that are not uh, registered here in a uh, Binance so I wish they're like registered in Binance okay so that's uh, fetch AI and it's and it's pumping again recovering from the crypto fad by the DOJ here last January 1819 and last but not the least it's not the AI but uh, uh, you know that uh, Aptos is a new kid on the block and uh, it has been you check on the daily chart it has been uh, pumping again uh, starting like January uh, December late December December 29 30 31 and then everything pump this is that was an early pump okay this is like there's an, there was an early pump on January 9 prior to the CPI report that happened on January 12 that made everything pump even further okay so we go to the four hour chart and we go same 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 so it has formulated a uh, symmetrical triangle and there's a short symmetrical triangle here hence on the 15 minute chart let me uh, do the 15 minute chart hence uh, let's X this MACD and the RSI okay so you could have a big picture so hence what happened is 
it has formed the mini symmetrical triangle and it already pumped it didn't wait until it reached the narrowest part so that's the thing with the symmetrical uh, triangles uh, it could pump earlier like what happened to uh, Ajax, it pumped earlier, but uh, it, it can go down again a bit. And then it has, for uh, Aptos, APT, it has formed uh, a higher low again. So it needs to break, it needs to uh, break this, uh, what? This one already. Okay, at least this part. Uh, just being conservative to go to uh, eight dollars and forty nine cents, the higher high. Okay, that would be its ceiling. Uh, or it could break down uh, to eight dollars and six cents. It depends because another high would be eight dollars and eighty five cents. Hmm. But you know slowly slowly it has to get out of uh, here at uh, eight eight dollars and 32 cents so it could uh, smash here the high of uh, eight dollars and 49 cents so things are uh, looking rosy at the 15 minute chart of uh, aptos so that's uh, three trading uh, trading uh, uh, chart for today and I hope you learned something about symmetrical triangle uh, excuse me uh, ascending triangle and uh, descending triangle and uh, you know and uh, shoulder head and shoulder pattern like we saw here in uh, Ajax head and shoulder pattern okay or the reverse head and shoulder pattern so Aptos could uh, go up maybe uh, before we close this uh, thingy, it might go up again here. Uh, let me drag this. To be conservative, it might pump 3% more within the day. And uh, if things go well, it could pump here at the height of the, that uh, last high high uh, higher low at uh, five percent so you can program it uh, to five five percent if you want but after gonna it's gonna go back again uh, whether you like it or not so this is the four hour chart of aptos uh, it may pump again it has no direction but uh, going up okay so before we close please be reminded that uh, the fed will be talking on february 1 hence the price of bitcoin is steady but sure uh, minus the fad and that's why it's waiting for the good news Hopefully that the Fed will just announce 25 basis points instead of 50 basis points. So that's it for today. Expect that news. So if everything goes well, uh, you know, you could buy again and, you know, wait for that pump. Uh, you could do long, but not short. <laughs> Hopefully not short. <laughs> And uh, basically, that's it. You, know, you could do long, you know, or just do spot trading and do your limit trading. It might pump to like 20% uh, when the CPI, I'm sorry, not CPI, when the interest rates of 25 basis points is announced by the Fed on February 1. Okay, so looking forward to that. It's like uh, how many days from now? Uh, there's January 31, so 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, around 13 days. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, around 13 days, 12 and a half days for some. For some, is 13 days. 
for me it's 12 and a half days from now okay so that's it from upstream charlie i hope uh, you learned again something from my uh, crypto trading and i uh, see you on the next bye bye adios arrivederci